apple away from Mike Johnson, as Speaker Johnson is talking about election integrity while ignoring the biggest threat to election integrity in America himself, the Republican Party's presumptive nominee for president. President, Texas Democratic Representative Jacqueline Crockett joins me after the break. This is a hot flash. This is a hot flash. But this is a not flash. For moderate to severe basal nerve symptoms due to menopause, Viosa is the first and only prescription treatment that directly blocks the source of hot flashes and night sweats. With 100% hormone-free Viosa, you can have fewer hot flashes and more not flashes. Viosa reduces the number and severity of hot flashes. Day and night, for some women, you can start working as early as one week. Don't use Viosa if you have cirrhosis, severe kidney problems, kidney failure, or take sick one or two inhibitors. Increased liver blood test values may occur. Your doctor will check them before and during treatment. Most common side effects include stomach pain, diarrhea, difficulty sleeping, and back pain. Ask your doctor about hormone-free Viosa and enjoy more not flashes. What if we don't get down in time to get a first pick gift for Zoe? Don't panic. With Etsy, we can find the perfect gift. And send her a card right away. Thanks, guys. Don't panic. Gift easy with Etsy. Run your tail. You're not controlled the movements called TV. Target dyskinesia. Starting to start with my day. TV felt so weird.
The report to Congress says that it is, quote, reasonable to assess that U.S. supplied weapons have been used by Israeli security forces since October 7th in instances inconsistent with international humanitarian law. Quote, while Israel has the knowledge, experience, and tools to implement best practices for mitigating civilian harm in its military operations, the results on the ground, including high levels of civilian casualties, raise substantial questions as to whether the IDF is using them effectively in all cases, end quote. Despite that, the report says the State Department currently believes the assurances provided by Israel, quote, to be credible and reliable, end quote, so as to allow the provision of U.S. weapons to Israel to continue. Uh, the release of the report comes after President Biden confirmed on Wednesday that civilians have been killed in Rafah as a consequence of U.S.-made bombs. Biden warned Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that the uh, United States would cause more armed shipments if Israel uh, launches a full-scale invasion in Rafa. I made it clear that if they go into Rafa, they haven't gone to Rafa yet. If they go into Rafa, I'm not supplying the weapons that have been used historically to deal with Rafa, to deal with the cities, to deal with that problem. Now, in response to that, Chile is a classic example. Um, so for the everyday person, it's kind of great that when a storm happens like this, they can just walk outside and see it. Uh, and they don't really have to worry about a lot of that stuff because it's, it's quite uh, the likelihood of it happening is kind of rare. Um, but to be able to go out from where you live, anywhere in Europe, the UK, America, uh, and see the Northern Lights is, is incredibly bad. So it's, for me, when I see something like this coming, I get excited for everyone else, not just myself. Ah, yes, that's interesting. The, the um, wh where did you watch, did you watch last night? I mean, where, where did you watch, where were you physically, and what are your plans in the days ahead? Uh, I did, so I live in Gothenburg in Sweden at the moment, and we, I've seen it a few times uh, in the last six months. Uh, but nothing like this. This storm was so strong. I, this storm was so strong. Uh, I was seeing it in the south. Um, so I just went up to my rooftop uh, and I just sat and watched it. And I uh, had a few friends there. And it was fantastic. Um, the next few days, I'm going to get some sleep because I've had an hour because uh, it's really exciting. And over the next few days, over the weekend, there's more storms incoming. So the potential of seeing more lights uh, is is pretty high. It is the Northern Lights, it's, it's kind of, we can predict it up to a certain point, but you never really know what's going to happen. But if, any, if anybody's going to see it, it's going to be this weekend. So my plan is to sleep during the day and be awake at night. <laughs> I, I just wanted, I just thought I'd like to go, because uh, talking about how you felt watching it, and, and, and a friend, a former colleague, Brian Stelter, emailed me during the show, and he pointed me to a tweet, and, and this person was saying, almost my entire Twitter timeline is filled with awe and amazement, much like during the total eclipse. But this aura event is so widespread, more people are posting about it versus the eclipse. No politics, no war, no name calling, just millions of people enjoying an amazing spectacle in the sky. Do you see it as that sort of unifying thing? Can you relate to that? Absolutely. My Twitter is full of it and like working in the